What is up guys? It's your boy Bobby back again with another video. And to all you newcomers, be sure to go down there, smash that subscribe button, and since you're already down there, might as well hit that like button too. And be sure to share this video with a friend, and if you find it informative, uh, drop a comment and let me know, because uh, I would really appreciate it. But, today we're going to be talking about a topic that's been highly spoken about in the car community, especially on YouTube. Um, and there's a lot of videos out there, but I felt like giving you guys my own opinions and what I believe are the best five first mods. So let's kick this off with my first mod and the first mod that I did to my car, which is a cat bag exhaust. Now I drive a Subaru BRZ, and to be honest with you guys, uh, the stock stockyaki exhaust was kind of whack, kind of lame. Uh, I was actually kind of embarrassed pulling up to car meets with my super quiet car. It's like I would pull up and nobody would even know I showed up there. Uh, so, you know, imagine yourself sitting at a car meet with your nice car uh, and you're looking at these awesome cars pull up and then you just see this really nice car pull up, but it's super quiet. It's just immediate, unbonerish. Uh, yeah, it's, I just invented a word, unbonerish, which basically means that's, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that just happened. Tell you guys why I feel that way about cars that have stock exhaust and you can't really hear the engine, but it's just how I feel, you know. Driving my car with my aftermarket exhaust is way funner than driving my car with its normal exhaust. Uh, it just it brings the it brings your engine to life. It gives your car some peppiness, some some joyness. And believe it or not, it does have some benefits in terms of horsepower and stuff like that if you really put it on a dyno. Uh, there's been research actually done that uh, exhaust, I'm, I'm talking about cars that are tuned, you know, I'm not talking about like your regular, like just throw an exhaust and you're going to gain 20 horsepower. Having a larger exhaust and like a bigger, uh, a, a larger diameter actually made a difference in horsepower. It wasn't a huge difference, but it was definitely a difference. Now for the second mod, uh, and probably one of my favorites as well, would probably have to be suspension. Many options within this one, I guess you could say category. You can do springs, you can do coils, you can do bags. Um, but honestly, it's whatever you can afford. Even coils with a nice little setup uh, can really benefit your handling. These roads are just so fun to drive on. Really. Jesus, you guys have no idea. If you guys have ever been to Bear Mountain, you guys would know what I'm talking about. You know, springs, coils, you could drop your car maybe two, two and a half inches. Uh, and that one or two, three inches actually has a big impact on how your car looks. Uh, because, for example, I'm sitting on the stock Yaki suspension, and there's nothing wrong with my car suspension. It's just, it's really, really high. Um, and I really, with my 18 by 9.5 wheels, I look like I'm driving a monster truck. I'm being over exaggerated, but that's what it feels like and the wheel gap is serious and if you know anything about the car scene wheel gap is not cool at all also it just makes for a better handling car you're lower to the ground it just makes more sense to to lower your car even if there's nothing wrong with your suspension for example like my brz now let's move on to the third option and that's going to be wheels and tires. Now I say wheels and tires because hockey tires are probably not going to fit on the nice fat wheels that you're probably going to want to get. Uh, and for that reason I put these two together. Uh, and either way you would probably want to upgrade to better performing tires uh, that would probably give you more grip or whatever if you want to go for that stretch look. Like I'm rocking my car, my car has stretch tires for show and it looks sick, it looks very sexy. So wheels, wheels and tires and this one is probably third because it's one of the more expensive mods um, because obviously you would have to get wheels and tires. But for this, I honestly really do suggest that you guys do a lot of research before you go out there and you just buy whatever wheel and tire setup because you want the best wheel, you want the best tires that are gonna fit right and look great and give you better performance on your car. You don't wanna just go out there without knowing what you're doing, buying a bunch of random crap, making your car look like crap and handle like crap too. So I highly recommend you do some research before going out there and buying wheels and tires. Now for the fourth, one of my favorites for sure, is tints now tints come in very handy with many reasons one it keeps your car cool especially if you if you live 
in like a summer area, like a like a very hot area. It keeps your car cool within the, within inside. Also, it gives you a lot of privacy. You could be in here digging all up under your nose, and nobody would know. Especially with my car, because I have tints all around. Even my front windshield is tinted, um, so I can be in here doing whatever I want to be doing in here, and nobody will know. But I don't I don't do that because that's that's gross. Tints are also also very very cheap. You can uh, everybody knows that one guy that knows a shop that can tint your windows for cheap. So go find that one guy. I'm pretty sure he's somewhere in your contact list. Now for the last and final mod that I suggest, and this is some people wouldn't even consider this mod, is a heavyweight shift knob. Now this really doesn't this doesn't really work with the automatics. I mean you can get a heavyweight shift knob for your automatic car, but what what good would that be doing? A heavyweight shift knob will definitely change the way that you you experience the driving and then uh, just the whole experience of driving your car is going to be completely different uh shifting the gears you're gonna basically you're gonna feel like you're driving a race car and who doesn't want to be driving a race car you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh literally that's exactly what i feel like i feel like i'm driving a race car my car is very naughty and with the heavyweight shift knob the way that uh the the, the shifter goes into the gears just feels it feels completely different from the stock Iaki shift knob. And this one actually weighs about four times the weight of the stock Iaki shift knob. So it uh, it definitely makes a huge, huge difference in the way that my car feels, handles, not handles, but in the way my car feels, the way I shift gears. It's, it's just a better experience in my own opinion. That's pretty much gonna conclude all the mods that I highly recommend as your first five mods, especially if you're a new guy coming into the car scene like myself. Uh, these are mods that I obviously have done or am going to do in the very near future. Um, so I'm referring to suspension because I've pretty much done everything else that I mentioned. And if you're if you're new to the car scene or your it's your first car, I highly recommend those five mods. Uh, do some research on the stuff that you want to do to your car. But in the end, that's probably the route that you're gonna go towards, especially because most of these mods are cheaper, more affordable, and have the biggest impact on how your car looks, handles, feels, all that good stuff. So if you guys found this video informational at all, be sure to go down there and just smash that like button, smash that subscribe button while you're at it. As always, Savage responsibly, peace out. So what are you about to do? I'm just gonna install these cannons real quick. We're gonna go fight some pirates. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> First you want to put them on the racks. <laughs> That's what she said.